Hi, how are you all doing? Um, today, I'm going to show you something and then I'm going to have to go um, shampoo my hair. My hair, now we've been pressure washing the house, the back of the house. The front is brick, the back is white paint. So the hair has been tied up, it's, fall, it's falling down and I don't care. But to show you raw and hair that's dulling because I have not been using my blue shampoos, my purple shampoos at this time. I've been busy and I've just been jumping in the shower and rinsing. Now if I take it all down and brush it out, it's gonna, it's gonna look fine if I go somewhere. But you know, this dulls where when you first see me, it was all looking beautiful. So I'm looking okay, but it's, it is what it is. So I am what I am. And here it is keeping it real again. Last night, we, after doing the house in the afternoon, um, I just kind of, we took these clothes and we threw them in the washer and we washed them and whatever. I did a video. Now, we hit the dollar store. And this is something that I used to use many years ago when my hair was uber long, but it was this natural color, which was a, it's a mousy brown. Don't know what it'll do to the blonde, don't care because I could always have that fixed. Don't care. A dollar, one dollar at the dollar store. Now, it gets worse from here. Okay, my contacts. I don't wear contacts on cam because they're very expensive contacts. So I usually wear them when I'm going out. <laughs> the ingredients in this is not bad. This is Salon Selectives, a hydration conditioner. Um, the free of dyes, silicones, parabens, and sulfates. Okay, um, yeah, all that good stuff. So the ingredients, let me get there. All right, we always have, yeah, there's another language. Ah, oh, here we go, water is always first, aqua. And then we have um, dimethicum, if I'm always saying that right, I don't know. Fragrance, yes, it's some, if you like your hair to smell good, the, this is gonna really, you walk into a room, they're gonna smell you. Uh, then we have castor oil, yeah, go figure that one out, castor oil. And then we have avocado oil, and we have glycerin, citric acid, and a long name that I can't even spell because it's everything in the alphabet backwards, and then another one. And then we have uh, something acetate, which that's never good. Keratin, go figure, okay? Um, panthenol, and aloe, and leaf juice. Now there's a few big words I left out because if you can't pronounce them, they're probably not good. They're, you know, is there alcohol? I don't know if I've seen alcohol. They're probably preservatives for this. I remember this. This does not roll around much in our dollar stores or big lots, period. This was at the dollar store. So I grabbed two because it, it was always very generous to my hair. The smell was, yeah, extremely thick even after you rinse it out. The smell is there. People think you're wearing perfume. All right, it's not the end of the world, but it will leave shine to your hair. It will leave it smooth and it will leave it silky. I'm telling you, for me it works. My hair is bleached and dyed and it works for me. I'm just saying, if, if you can see it for a buck in any dollar store, grab it. It's worth it. It's, it's worth it. Um, now, for women like me, look, I, I can't just always use the blues, the blue shampoos. They can tend to build up, get gunky, and they tend to be a little harsh. So, sometimes you just got to go back to being simple. And I do. And my hair grows like a weed. Nothing's happening. Okay, so I just wanted to recommend that to someone to try if you see in your dollar store anywhere. It's good. It's very, I could just wave it around my house and holy, whoops, I don't want to come out. It's getting ready to come out. But, uh, jeez, perfume, perfume. Yes, it has 
a generous amount of perfume in it. Okay, worthy of looking at, at least just trying. If you want to try your whole head because you're a bleach blonde, your hair's dyed or whatever, try it on your ends. Jeez, they're going to be silky. Okay, this. I don't know how many of you do a pre-wash conditioner. This is using conditioner before you use your shampoo. I also got this at the dollar. Where's the tag? Whatever. Okay, because it's 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 cheap stuff. It's not you know. Do I wouldn't say I would say that had some better stuff in it. Nothing make your hair stay blonde, blonde or whatever. But it had some good ingredients in it. Water, aqua, of course. Dimethicone. Uh, yeah, something glycol, fragrance, perfume, um, disodium, EDTA, da 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 da, can't read, lactic acid, all these, yeah, again, every word in the alphabet that goes backwards, so it has a lot of not so good stuff in it, the shine, it's, man, I'm telling you, I, I yell at this every time, it's like, it don't listen. So, oh, it's a reverse system. I've used these in the past. They're pre-washes, and what they do is, it's a conditioner. You put it on, I bought two bottles. You put it on before, you put it on before you shampoo your hair. And it says to leave on two to three pumps throughout wet hair. Well, I would need more than that, but okay. Leave it on for a minute or so, rinse. Follow with your shampoo. Shampoo it out. Um, this stuff is great. I mean, I've used it and not shampooed it out. I've put it on my hair and I rinsed it out. So let's take a look at that. Let's just take a look at that and get all this stuff down. Wow, this is gonna be hard. Okay, since I don't put anything on my scalp, we're not going there. Okay? And I can't. Sorry, but there's no use in pumps because I don't. I don't do pumps. I don't like them. They tend to fail, they tend to break. This stuff here, I didn't even brush my hair. Don't have. Oh, wow, yes. Okay, it's thick. It's thick. It's gonna run a little bit, but it's thick. So, when you come into the other side, you pull the back around. I don't do scalps with this stuff, as I said. Um, I want that out of the way. So, oh man. You almost need to wear a mask with this. But it's not going to hurt your hair. It is not going to hurt your hair, harm your hair. Unless your hair is extremely damaged, then you need to see a derm who's really good, or your colorist, a salon, rather, and get the proper ingredients in your hair to help it. But it's not going to hurt. Jeez. Can I just pin you back with this stuff, please? It's not going to harm your hair. Actually, it looks good. The colors look good. It looks good. Now, like I said yesterday, I see scrubbing. I don't like scrubbing. I have enough on my hand to come down and do this, and it works. More. It's thick. There we go. Just sit over there. Okay. We got thicker on this side, so. I still have hair in the back. Done it. Okay. Take it. You can twill it. You want to get it. You want to wrap that hair around your hand. And you want to wrap around your hand. And don't forget to go in between your fingers. Because guess what? Guess what's there? Mm -hmm. The stuff is there. Um, the pre-wash. So, the browns look browner, the blonde looks blonder. I can just go out with this stuff on. People are like, damn, you smell good. A little messy. 
little messy because I am no expert. Why does this sound like it's not full? Probably because somebody was using it in this door. <laughs> There's more. This is going to be about it. So I'll wash my whole head. I mean, I'll rinse my whole head in the sink, but I'm not going to shampoo. Um, I don't need to shampoo this out. There's no doubt about it. You don't need to shampoo this out. But you're bothering me. You're bothering me right there. It's great. And again, my hair is very porous where it's blonde. It's going to suck this stuff in. This, you are so bothering me. This stuff is, it was a buck. What do you want for a dollar? But I read the majority of ingredients, the ingredients that I like, um, pretty much. Now it's starting to kind of want to dry because you're supposed to leave it on for a minute. Would it hurt if I left it on for five or 10 minutes? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's a pre-wash conditioner. You condition your hair first, then you shampoo your hair. You know, it's kind of like we put coconut oil on our hair and then we shampoo it out. Same thing, no difference. So this is it. The ends don't look that wet, but they are. Um, I'm just trying to get this off of my face. It's gonna look a little tacky and maybe not. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I just flipping don't mind it. Um, I have good hair and maybe this is why. I mean, it gets different stuff put on all the time. I mean, or maybe not. That I can't even answer, but I do not like, wow, there's a lot on there. Pumps, I don't, I don't dig pumps at all. I prefer more of uh, this kind, not a pump. Pumps break, especially when you're getting something from the dollar store. So this is it. I just put this on my hair by Trace Amé, which I don't know much about Trace Amé. Uh, if you don't want to behave, you're going to flip over there. So, with that being said, now the hands are fine. They don't feel, I know there's stuff on them, but I'm not rubbing my scalp. I wouldn't do that. This stuff is just going to sit, it's going to, what's it going to do? It's just going to coat what you see. It just looks like greasy hair, doesn't it? It looks like anything else, olive oil, coconut oil, wet hair, anything. But the smell doesn't. And that's, you know, with all my, oh, there come the layers out to say hello. There we go. So it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad. It's just gonna sit there and it's just gonna sit there. And if it sits there, it's not gonna break my hair. Boy, it makes that brown shine now. Um, I will go rinse my hair. I will go eat some dinner. And I will not worry about this stuff. I just don't know where to put it. That's my thing. I just don't know where to put it. I'll put it like that. So yes, if you see the pre-wash by Trace May, expert selection, of course, they would say, um, because with Flexi Max volumizers, okay, um, pre wash conditioner, and again, we're going to resort to this because this is really cool. Using conditioner after you shampoo can wear your hair down, and it can, and we all know that, hence me not using it on my scalp. That's why, and even the hair will, yeah. That's why Tresemme Game Changing Beautiful Volume Regimen starts with the pre-wash. This is pretty funny. Starts with a pre-wash conditioner instead. Use it before washing you with your shampoo. And your hair will feel soft and silky but still have beautiful bounce. Okay. 
formulated with a combination of FlexiMax volumizers and fiber polishing actives. It binds to the cuticle, see, to the cuticle. It's not going in anywhere, it can't. It's, the molecules are too big, it's just gonna hang on to the outside hair. It binds to the cuticle to protect hair during washing and leave it smooth and polished when you shampoo it out. I'm not shampooing it out. I'm gonna have a clean scalp because I'm gonna go ahead and use my, you all know what I use on my scalp if you watch my videos. So this is this, this is that. And right now I'm just kind of digging the way it feels. It's kind of like a gel where you could style your hair. <laughs> it's, it's weird, I like it. Um, I don't like my whole my whole room smells this way now. That I'm not liking. I don't like perfuming things. I have allergies, so things tend to bother me. But um, it's not bad. If I can get my hair, it's not bad. It's there, but it's not bad. I mean, it's all yeah. So I don't know what you all think about it. If any of you have ever tried, and up here is not. I flipped it so it's here and here and I wouldn't dare comb or brush this or pick at it. What I would do is I just separate gently and that does not harm the hair. This is what you do before you wash in case you have any knots. Because you sure as heck don't want to be going through those knots when your hair is wet. Um, yeah, I'm changing things up all the time. so. Believe me when I say something, because one day it's one thing, one day it's the next thing. That's all cool. So, without, now I could, I don't know if it'll, it's already dull up here. Well, it's already dull up here. Sheesh. So we'll go through there. And there's something that I don't like. So you use your fingers as a comb. And that worked. And just do this. Just twist and twirl. And it's saturated. It's just this is going to suck it up. And it did. I started here first. And this just like literally sucks it right in. Blonde hair has holes in it because that's what you're doing. You've removed all the color, and you, it's blonde hair is always damaged hair. Okay, everybody says blonde hair is damaged hair. I had to learn hardcore lessons in being lectured years ago for that. So this stuff will uh, come off, and I'll let you all know tomorrow how it works. Please don't overlook this for a dollar. I lost a hair. Don't overlook this for a buck because I remember this. Let go. I remember this. And this was pretty good stuff. Um, even if you want to just try it on your ends, it'll bring your ends together so they're not so thin looking. Maybe. I don't have, I have a gazillion layers on the end, so it may look like they're not coming together, but they're together. Um, I just put this through dry hair. And you, do you put it through dry hair? Uh. Do you put it through dry hair? Oh. Yep, you put it through wet hair. I don't read directions on stuff, and I'm always a bit of a game changer so it's okay um but I went through there's one of my infamous tiger stripes tiger stripe yeah zebra stripe whatever um the smell is knocking me though but this is what it is and this is where it's gonna be I just look like I have hair that I have not washed see that's, that's all it is. Um, and yes, I did get it up here on this part because 
that part was bothering me something fierce. Should I take my earrings off? Eh, screw it. Earrings could stay on. Um, it feels... <laughs> boys will be boys out there. It, um, it's tacky now. It's trying to dry. Don't want to dry too much. I've left it on longer than it has set. Showing you what it can do. It does add some shine. It does look pretty. Um, but you can't walk around with it in your hair all day. Just because it gets, it's like a gel feeling. You know, it's like I just put gel through my hair and I feel like I could style it. And, and you don't want to leave that in your hair because it's not meant to be in your hair. It's a pre-wash conditioner. Okay? So there it is. It's made by Trace and May and it's a pre-wash condition before you shampoo so you don't have weighed down hair. I like that. I like that concept. A buck also. They're both a dollar. Dollar store. Salon Selectives. I remember this very well. This is older product that they had that came out. I remember it. I like it. Um, would I use it all over my head? Absolutely not. I would use it like from here down and just wash uh, because it's soft and it'll make the hair soft. Is it going to fade the blonde? You know, who knows? Honestly, who knows? Um, I have the expensive blue shampoos and purple shampoos and the black tar shampoo. I have them all that can bring, bring me right back. You know, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it because I'm in a grow out phase. So, um, thank you for watching. I gotta get this out because it's, it's all tacky now. Um, please subscribe, please like, and please leave a comment if you will, because look, I'm just that kind of person who goes a little rogue when it comes to things on her hair, on her skin. Um, yeah, I'm that kind of person, but I don't, nothing's breaking, you know, nothing's breaking, nothing's uh, in the long run being harmed by this stuff that I've ever noticed in years, nothing. Because look, I couldn't afford the blue shampoos. I really still can't afford them with what's going on in the world right now. And a lot of them I was given, like shimmer lights and then the knockoff of that, and then the other one starts with Fanola, whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce it, because it's foreign to me. That's the one that's like black tar. Um, I don't, you know, I bought two a long time ago, um, Ever Pure, Ever Something by L'Oreal for blonde hair because they were on sale at Walgreens and they were pretty cool. I still have them, as a matter of fact. One bottle, I think. And they will help bring this blonde back out. I'm not, I'm not killing anything by doing this, but I may be dulling it and the hair is already dull because I sweat in Florida. And when you sweat, you know that when you brush your hair, oils and sweat are coming through, and you did not want to leave that sweat on your hair because <clears throat> it dulls it out. Now, if I had hair this short all around, this would be easy to tend to because it would be blonde and it would just be this color all the way around. And you would see, like, holy crap, she's just got constant shine and just beautiful blonde hair. But no, let's, let's keep it real. Pre-wash before you shampoo. No shampoo, just going to go rinse live with the smell all night. Have a great night wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. Please don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment or like or something. Um, don't make me get too crazy out here. <laughs> you know, with products until you see the hair falling off the head. Go, oh my God. See, look, you can almost use it to style your hair all by itself. All right. Take care, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.